Hi everybody, it's Miss Megan from the Genoa Library and I'm back for story time. Today we're going to read two books about butterflies. The first one is Waiting for Wings by Lois Ellert. Out in the fields, eggs are hidden from view, clinging to leaves with butterfly glue. Soon caterpillars hatch, they creep and they chew. Each one knows what it must do. Find a place where winds don't blow, then make a case in which to grow. Caterpillar changes now begin. Body and wings take shape within. When it's time, each case is torn. Wings unfold, new butterflies are born. They pump their wings, get ready to fly. Then hungry butterflies head for the sky. Looking for flowers with nectar to eat. They catch a whiff of something sweet. They follow that fragrant scent of perfume until they find our garden in bloom. We've been waiting for wings. We watch them circle and land on their feet, unroll their tongues and begin to eat. They dip and sip, then fly away back home to the fields. They have eggs to lay. The end. And here are some butterfly identifications. There's the buckeye. We have a printed lady. We have the monarch and swallowtails. The end. The next book is Ten Magic Butterflies by Danica McKellar. Once upon a time, there were ten flower friends. Were they always happy? Well, that depends. All day long, they soaked up the sun, talking and laughing and having fun. They loved being flowers, but they couldn't deny that they had a secret desire to fly. They watched every eve as the fairies flew from the moon night to the morning dew. Then one starry night, a flower felt brave. She spotted a fairy and started to wave. Said the tiny blue one, fairy up in the sky, you see, I'm a flower, but I want to fly. Huh. Oh. Hello there, my friend. You smile and you sing. Why would you want to be a different thing? I'm tired of being a flower, just stuck in the ground. I want new adventures to zoom all around. The fairy shrugged. Okay. And she closed her eyes. Time to get ready for a big surprise. With a wave of her wand and a bing bang boo, the fairy said, now you're a butterfly, Blue. One butterfly flew as nine flowers looked on. There were still 10 of them in the sky and on the lawn. Said the bossy green one, fairy up in the sky, hey, make me some wings, cause I wanna fly. With a wave of her wand and a bing bang boo, the fairy said, now you're a butterfly too. Two butterflies flew as eight flowers looked on. There were still 10 of them in the sky and on the lawn. Said the silly orange one, 
Fairy up in the sky, could I flutter and flip? Will you help me to fly? With a wave of her wand and a bing bang boo. Now Fairy said, now you're a butterfly too. Three butterflies flew and seven looked on. There were still ten of them in the sky and on the lawn. Next, four and six, bing bang boo. Then five and five, the brand new butterflies felt alive. Yes, one by one, they filled the sky as the sweet little fairy helped each to fly. The ten new butterflies flew all night, zooming and swooping. What a sight! Zing, zang, zoom. When morning came and the sun peeked through, their wings were tired and the wind really blew. Whoa, bonk, thud. They watched other flowers soak up the sun as bees and birds kissed them one by one. And then they said together, all ten, we actually want to be flowers again. It was fun to fly, but now we're sad. We really do miss all the things we once had. <laughs> sniff, sniff. It wasn't bad when we were flowers, so strong and sturdy with lots of powers. We made perfume and cleaned the air, gave plenty of nectar for all to share. I thought you'd change your mind, she cried. The grass is always greener on the other side. Sometimes we wish for different things to change color or size or even get wings. But big and tall or short and small, being ourselves is best of all. So let's go back to being you with a fairy dust and a bing bang boo. Yippee! And then ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, they floated down to the garden floor. Now seven on the ground and three to go, then three, two, one, zoomed high to low. Was that a dream or did they fly? Can flowers end up with wings in the sky? Who knows what happens while we're asleep? Could dogs become horses and bugs become sheep? Yes, magic surrounds us. It takes many forms, from rainbows and moonlight to tropical storms. Frogs come from tadpoles that swim in the stream, and each night you grow with every dream. So don't be surprised if this story is true and mag magical butterflies come to see you. You might see one fluttering late, late at night or in your dreams. Sleep tight. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed the butterfly stories, and I will see you guys next week. Have a great week.